Hey Cloud Gamers, today I'm here to talk to you about Parsec versus Moonlight. These are two different streamers for cloud gaming virtual PCs that you might want to use and you might want to know the differences. So here I'm running the Superposition benchmark on 1080 high from Unigine. Some of the immediate differences that you should know about is that Parsec only works on Mac, PC and Android, whereas Moonlight works on iOS, Mac, PC, Android and the Shield TV, which is what it was designed for in the first place. It's also worth noting that Parsec is capped at 60 FPS and 50 megabits per second. However, you can change the config with advanced settings and fiddle with those if you look online. Moonlight supports everything that your local monitor does and at whatever refresh rate that, that can handle. Some other key differences is because Moonlight is a game streaming engine, you cannot use the Windows key or Alt tab you need to use like alt enter to do a quick shortcut to minimize windows or to put it into windowed mode if you want to use some of the window settings in game. Whereas Parsec is a full blown kind of remote desktop application optimized for game streaming. Parsec also has a cool little arcade feature where you can share your Parsec session with other people and make it act like a local co-op. So if you have a co-op game, you can open up Parsec Arcade and allow people to join through the web and they will play on your machine like they were sat in the same room. Now onto the benchmark stuff here, you see I'm looking extremely good. Now one thing you may have noticed through the benchmark is this GPU has been pretty much maxed out on this 1080 high, whereas the CPU has been bouncing around. Now Parsec seems to be a little bit heavier on the CPU in general than Moonlight as I think Moonlight is actually using more of the GPU to encode the stream. So we'll see some interesting results out of the benchmark here, but overall you might notice that Moonlight has been a lot smoother, whereas Parsec seems to be a little bit juddery. It is using the 40 megabits per second stream here on the H.265 encoding and also the 60 FPS. The Moonlight has been looking a lot better for me overall. Although the frames per second seems to be a little bit less, it doesn't seem to take as much CPU and generally just looks a lot better. But when we look at the benchmark results, you can see that because it's using that GP encoding, it does damage the benchmark scores. But for me, the overall quality of Moonlight is much higher and is my preference for streaming. Overall, I think that you need a combination of both Parsec and Moonlight. Using Parsec for everything non-high-end gaming, so you can do all of your day-to-day -day remote desktop type work, or if you're just using applications on your remote machine. But if, when it comes to gaming, it definitely is worth switching to Moonlight. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the latest from Cloud Gaming Extreme across all cloud gaming platforms. And I will see you next time.